Hey guys, Harsh here, back in the video. So in this video, as you can see, I have my DST11 sensor over here and my ESP32 board. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can connect this DST11 sensor to the ESP32 board and get your temperature and humidity reading on your smart device, like a laptop or a smartphone. And for this project, I'm going to use the Tasmota web server application. You have to install it onto your ESP32. I have made a video on it. It is just a simple five minute process. So just follow that and then get back to this video. If you haven't already installed the Tasmota web server onto it. So without wasting time, let's get started. So this is going to be a no code operation, which means that no code is involved in this particular setup over here. So first of all, let's connect our sensor to our board. So we'll connect the VCC pin, which is right over here to the 3.3 volts on the ESP32. Then we'll take the ground and connect it to the ground on the ESP32 board. Just like so, as you can see. Now we can take our data pin, which is the middle pin over here and connect it to the any GPIO pins, which can accept inputs. In this particular case, I'm just going to use the pin number D2 over here. So let me just do that right now, just like so. And there you have it. You have now connected your sensor to your board. Now let's power it up, access it through our mobile device and configure it. So I am on my computer right now. As you can see, I have my IP address set it up right over, which is 192.168.1.10. So in the Tasmota application, what we have to do is just go to the configuration, then click on configuration module. And here we have to select our pin input, which is the GPIO pin number two. And here we have to search for DHT11, which is quite a way down. So just don't try to miss it. Here it is, as you can see. So just select that. As you can see, it is now selected. And once that is done, you can just go ahead and click on save. And as always, it will restart a device. And once it has restarted, you will get your temperature and humidity reading, as you can see right over here. So DHT11 temperature, you get 30.1 degrees Celsius, humidity at 36 and DW point, I don't know what that is, but surely I will figure it out. So let me just test it out. So what I'm going to do is just blow on the sensor and it should increase the humidity and temperature. As you can see, it the humidity went right up to the 95 mark and temperature increased by 5 degrees Celsius. And as you can see, it updates every few seconds. So you will get the updated temperature reading and whatnot on your device. So there it is guys. That's how you can use the Tasmota web server application to check your temperature and humidity readings from your ESP32. So thanks for watching the video guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And if you have any doubts or comments regarding the video, you can comment down below. I will try to answer them as soon as possible. So as always, I will catch you all in the next one.